Is your industry, private equity, private credit, private assets overall, ready for more scrutiny? How are you preparing for it? So I think that as any industry grows, it is likely to have more scrutiny, more regulation. That doesn't always necessarily mean it's bad. If it's you know thoughtful and it helps create free, fluid, transparent markets, that's good for everybody. If there's a set of rules that everybody signs up for that are thoughtfully created and evenly applied, um, I, I don't actually think that um, that's necessarily a bad thing. And, you know, private and asset management covers so many um, areas and so many geographies, it's inevitable that you will encounter new regulation, new ways of thinking about things um, across the globe. It's not only a U.S. phenomenon. And that doesn't necessarily have to be adversarial. Um, everybody wants the same thing. They want fair markets, they want open markets, they want transparency. Um, so, and I realize that may sound, uh, you know, Pollyanna-ish right now, but I do think that, um, that, that there are ways where the industry can, can help um, everybody think about how to improve markets all over the place. So what would an example of good regulation, thoughtful regulation for your industry look like? You know, um, and there, this has existed. I actually think um, an area where we have not participated, but I do think is an interesting space is that um, there's been worked on on being able to um, allow smaller investors to invest in the private asset world. It's an area where um, and, re and some uh, high net worth and retail investors. Um, that's not an area in particular we have focused on, but done correctly, providing ordinary investors with access to higher returning products is is generally a good thing. But you want to make sure that they have different information and that they have information to make that decision because historically these have been sold to very sophisticated, very, um, you know, in investors with large teams and a lot of experience. It's not necessarily a bad thing if the result is more access to capital, more access to better investments, but there's some regulation around that. Now, speaking of regulation, and you mentioned how it doesn't always have to be adversarial, your Senator, Elizabeth Warren, is really kind of gunning for private equity. What do you think she doesn't quite get or doesn't un understand about your industry? I'm not entirely sure she's gunning for private equity. Um, I think that she is a very, very um, smart person who um, has a worldview on how markets should work that I think is an incredibly important voice. Um, that said, um, I think that private equity, private investments add to um, market liquidity, add access to capital for companies that need it. And therefore, um, there's all sorts of positives there. I think as, as more companies that are public, you know, it would have been unheard of 20 years ago that any of our firms would be public. And now, although we're private, most of our competitors are public. Let's talk about the SEC. What does a Gary Gensler-led SEC mean for, for private asset managers? I think that he is somebody uh, who's incredibly experienced, incredibly smart, has a history of service, um, and um, I think will do a good job. I don't know him personally, but his his obviously reputation precedes him. And you know, once again, I I think we all want the same things, which is mm. you know, free and fair markets.